So this goes out to all the ladies out there, right? This is important for you. This is something which you wouldn't even recognise probably as an issue. Is the importance of the ladies getting fitted. Just because you're a certain demographic does not mean you get shoveled into some just, here's your normal lady shaft, madam. Thanks very much, away you go, right? That's a one shot and done. If you do hit Johnny Jackpot, please tell me, because that would be very unusual and you can buy me a lottery ticket while you're doing that. When you're a lady golfer, you've got to be really on point. You haven't traditionally got the speed to get away with other stuff that a normal sort of say stronger golfer can get away with. So you've got to be efficient. You've got to launch it properly. You've got to keep the spin on the ball. You know, it's no good having no spin, the ball hitting the green and running through the back. It's no good having a driver that goes yay far off the ground and doesn't go very far, especially today when it's wet and cold. So all of this stuff for, for you ladies is super important and there is no sort of block to coming in. You know, everyone's got their sort of, if you like, I'm not very good with this, I'm not very good with that, I'm a bad iron player, or I'm good with my woods, right? That's fine. We can mix and match whatever you need to work. As long as the gapping is solid, you can start a hybrid now with the girls. Brilliant idea. You know, it doesn't mean you know, you've got to be able to have a you know, six and five and four iron in the bag. I mean, you know, there are people out there that, that do hit that really good, and that's fine. But just to have you pigeonholed into the band, oh, here you go, you're a lady, have this baby blue shaft or this baby pink shaft, drives me to the wall. You're just a thing with speed, as is a male. The golf ball doesn't know what you are, so please don't think of it as that. You're just going to come in with a level of speed and delivery of X, and we've got to try and Rubik's Cube the equation to give you the optimal performance out of that. What that is, who knows? But at least have the process to understand. You might be better off with just 10 clubs in the bag because that's all you can use gapping-wise to get you where you want to be. Have an open mind, but please don't just go for the one shot and done with just the one option.